Hi guys and welcome to the next video of this entire series. In this particular session, I will be discussing what is DMARC and how does it work. In the last session, we discussed what is DKIM and how does it work. And I have shown you how we can enable DKIM for a domain in Office 365. In this particular session, I will be discussing what is DMARC and how does DMARC work. And then I will be showing you how you can enable DMARC for your domains in Office 365. If you go by definition, DMARC helps the recipient email servers to determine what action they should take on your emails if SPF or DKIM checks fail. DMARC works with SPF and DKIM. Before you enable DMARC for your domains, you must need SPF and DKIM records to be published for that particular domain. Let's consider an example and let's understand how DMARC works. Let's assume we have two organizations, abc.com and xyz.com. abc.com organization has published SPF, DKIM and DMARC records in their public DNS. In this demo, abc.com is going to send an email to xyz.com organization. When this email will be sent to xyz.com organization, their email server will perform few checks to validate if the email is a legitimate email or not. The recipient server will first extract the domain name from the return path, and then recipient server will extract domain name from from address and will match both domain names. This is called SPF alignment. If both domain names are matching, SPF will pass. If domain names are not matching, SPF will fail. And if SPF alignment fails, recipient server will now check DKIM validation. Recipient server will check the domain name within D equal attribute and will match that domain with the domain name extracted from the from address. D equal is a value that is found within the DKIM signatures, which indicates which domain has signed this particular email. If both domain names match, DKIM will pass, else DKIM will fail. Now, if either SPF or DKIM checked fails, recipient server will treat that email as per the action specified by the sending server within the DMARC records. This is a standard DMARC record. Let's break this record and let's understand what each component means. V equal DMARC1 indicates the version of DMARC record that sender email server is using. P equal stands for policy. Under policy, we specify the action that recipient server will take in case SPF or DKIM or both records will fail on your email. Under policy, we can define three actions, none, reject, and quarantine. If you have specified action none, that means recipient server will not take any action and email will be delivered to the recipient. If you have specified reject action. In that case, the recipient server will reject this email if SPF or DKIM or both will fail. If policy is set to quarantine, the recipient server will redirect that email to their quarantine portal. PCT equal is the percentage of the emails to which the domain owner would like to have its policy applied. If it is set to 100, that means all emails sent from this particular domain will have P equal policy applied. RUA equal mail to is the email address of the mailbox to which reports should be sent for further analysis if SPF or DKIM fails on your emails. Now let's understand how we can add DMARC record for our domains in Office 365. For this demo, I will be enabling DMARC for Office365Concepts.com. And to add the records, I will switch to the domain provider website. Under DNS management, I will be adding a DMARC record. The type of the record will be 
txt host will be underscore dmark and the value will be first we will specify the version because uh, which is v equal dmark 1 then we will specify policy p equal so we can specify three types of policies none reject and quarantine so as per your requirement you can specify any one of these three policies for this demo i will be typing reject and then we will mention pct value which is percentage value and i will go with 100 okay so we have mentioned version policy and percentage value and then we will click save to validate these records, we will switch to DMARC record analyzer. On this website, we will type the name of our domain, office365concepts.com. And we will validate if this DNS record has been populated or not, has been replicated or not. So if we scroll it down here, we can see the DMARC record has been published. This is the record that we have added within the DNS provider, DNS management. This is the version, this is the policy, and this is the percentage that we have defined within the DNS record. Now let's recap what we have understood about DMARC. DMARC works with SPF and DKIM. Before you enable DMARC for your domain, you need to publish SPF and DKIM records for that domain. DMARC provides additional protection against spoofing and phishing emails. By defining policies, we can tell the recipient servers what action should they take if SPF or DKIM or both records fail on your emails. With DMARC, we can forward emails to an email address and those reports can be used for further analysis. So in this particular session, we have discussed how DMARC works and how we can add DMARC records for our domains in Office 365. In the next session, we will be discussing what is MX record and why we need MX records. And I will be showing you how we can add MX record for our domains in Office 365. If you have learned something new from this particular session, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.